Okay, let's take a look at uh, help and administration in a little more detail. We'll go look at administration first. As I mentioned, set up the printer. Um, here you can see uh, your default printers will come up. Uh, like in my case, this is a Hewlett Packard Smart Print. That's my default. But a lot of times I'll send documents right over and create PDF documents. So it all depends on what's on your system. But this would be the screen that would come up. You can set, you know, landscape portrait and so on. Also, under administration, I said earlier, you can set up your default that goes to the screen or to the printer. Mine is defaulted to the screen. If you change it, it will remember that each time you launch the program. License verification, we've talked about that before. If you go under special clear, it's going to say this should only be used if you're instructed by me. So let's say no. So that's uh, something you want to stay away from unless I tell you to go there. And then this database update, you can click it. It says this will update your pre-existing databases. Sometimes I may change the uh, uh, within the structure of a database, but I don't really update uh, the program. I'll tell you to run this, but in many cases, uh, it may not apply. Under help, you can look at the news update. Um, it launches over to the website. And if there's anything uh, associated with news, obviously here it's uh, page is not updated. I don't have anything to report at this point. But if you did, uh, it would be it would be uh, declared there. Uh, launch your help screens. Again, uh, help is uh, web based, and uh, you can go through all the basic functions of the program. Pretty exhaustive and very good for you to run through all of these before you run the program. Um, Again, your YouTube videos, you can launch them from the program. Um, and then you can look at a, you can uh, look at a process flow diagram. Not a big deal, but uh, it just shows a high, you know, overall uh, layout of the program and, and major steps to perform the basic functions. Also, there's a money line and poly wagering calculator. So if you were looking at, I don't know, a bunch of favorites. So let's say the money lines are one, minus 155, minus 100. Let's throw a long shot in. He's going to give you 300. You're going to lay 20 bucks, and you hit submit. It's going to tell you for $20, if these were the, the odds, the money line odds for the three parlay teams, you would collect 263. Okay, so just a... The nice little feature here, you can look at it very quickly to see you know, what kind of money you would make depending upon the money line on a horse, uh, on, the, on the team. And then, of course, about the program, uh, you can uh, launch over. You could actually look at, if you wanted to, your uh, license agreement uh, that we have between us. Okay? And that's essentially... Uh, the administration and help features. And of course, you can exit the program.